Yo, what's happening? All right, so look, we got all stands in Vento Ario. But look, the twist is we about to be power scaling these motherfuckers. <laughs> Hello everyone, Xforts here, and welcome to All Stands in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 5, Vento Areo. In this video, I'll be going over God, every stand that appears in Vento Areo in chronological order, giving a brief description of the stand's ability, who the stand user is, and what the stand's musical reference is. So to start off, the first stand to appear in Vento Areo is actually an old friend, Echoes from Diamond is Unbreakable. Echoes is a stand with the power of sound, sporting a variety of sound-based abilities through its three forms. The stand can control what you hear, feel, and weigh through putting sounds in your head, bringing sounds to life, which is probably its best ability considering the, the possibilities like being able to control any element through sounds like sizzle, swoosh, and chills, and its final ability is to add an immense amount of weight to a single object with Echoes Act 3. The stand user is Morio's finest Koichi Hirose, and Echoes' musical reference is the Pink Floyd song which is composed of three acts echoes that one it sounds all right it don't even sound amazing bruh so i'm gonna put that one in trash bruh my bad bruh that's just what i think of it first new stand to appear in the part gold experience with its ability of life giver the stand can give life to inanimate objects to create small animals like ladybugs or frogs as well as just anything organic like plants small trees body parts and organs which allows gold experience to heal its user and others gold experience is a humanoid stand which is also a traditional punching ghost but its punches have a secondary effect besides dealing damage they will overload the enemy with life energy to cause a sense of euphoria and make their brain think faster than their body to throw them out of sync. Although this ability is kind of scrapped as the part goes on, and punches begin to strictly cause physical damage. Gold Experience's stand user is our main JoJo of the part, Giorno Giovanna, and its musical reference is the album The Gold Experience by Prince. Hmm, I think that's Dio's son, ain't it? It don't even look that good, bro. It don't sound that good, honestly. But I'll put it in neutral, because you know what I'm saying? It's in between overpowered and decent. The motherfuckers sound good, but it don't at the same time. Sticky Fingers, a stand with the ability to open objects and create pockets of voided space through zippers the stand can place this a one is on tough. anything and decide whether it wants to open it like a doorway or create a pocket of space to hide its user or objects it can also be used to disassemble things and put them back together via zippers the stand user is passion capo bruno bucciolati and its musical reference is the album sticky fingers by the rolling stones i'm not gonna lie that one is tough it's better than the first version of gold experience in my opinion so i'm gonna put this one at overpower because it is kind of overpowered too at the same time. Motherfucker can avoid anything and unzip shit. Put it in a whole nother dimension. Like what, bro? Black Sabbath, the stand that lives in the shadows. It's an automatic long-range stand that's ability is to move swiftly and stealthily throughout shadows. What? Where its power is dramatically increased. But when exposed to sunlight, the stand becomes nearly immobilized. Black Sabbath's main purpose is to create new stand users for the game Passion. As its user is the head of the initiation process to Passion and to enter the game, you must become a stand user but it is possible that they allow access to people that are not yet stand users but still very loyal and dedicated to the game so because black sabbath is mainly used to create new stand users one of the stand arrows is actually part of the stand but it's unknown if the stand and the arrow fuse together when well, it was created or if they were forged together manually its last ability is to forcibly remove people's souls from their body which it pierces what? with the stand arrow to create a new stand user or the kill the person if they are not strong enough to possess a stand Black Sabbath's user is Pulpo, and its musical reference is the heavy metal band Black Sabbath. I ain't gonna lie, it don't sound overpowered. It's not overpowered. I'm gonna put it at neutral. I think I wanna put it ahead of Gold Experience, though. Because this first version of Gold Experience, I don't, to me, it's just not good like that. Moving on to Moody Blues, a stand that reveals the truth. Its ability is to look into the past of a specific location or object and rebroadcast the events that took place. For example, it can be used in a cockpit of an airplane to replay the actions of the previous pilot. And on the more extreme end, just by seeing a picture no matter when it was taken, the stand can replay the events at the location in the picture before or after it was taken. When rebroadcasting events, the stand becomes automatic and uncontrollable unless stopped by its user. And this leaves both the user and the stand very vulnerable when rebroadcasting. 
Hansen. The Stan user is Abakio Leone, and the Stan's musical reference is the band Moody Blues. Now that one sounded trash. <laughs> that one might be down there with the first one. All it does is re- like, what? Next is Soft Machine, a fairly simple Stan that's ability seemed conceptualized to highlight other Stans like Moody Blues and Sticky Fingers during its fight. Its ability is to deflate people as if they were full of air. The Stan what? has a small rapier that it will stab with, and it gives people the properties of a pop balloon, which can quickly make people dis disappear and travel through small and tight spaces. It works best when taking enemies out one by one stealthily. The stand user is Mario Zichiro and its musical reference is the rock jazz band Soft Machine. Deflating people? Like what bro? Imagine somebody confronting you and you got this stand bro. What the fuck are you gonna do? You're not gonna be able to stab the motherfucker because they know what it does. I'm gonna put that one at decent bro. It's only good for certain situations. Next up is another stand out of our main cast, <laughs> Sex Pistols. Sex Pistols what? is comp- The fuck is their name? What? Composed of six small sentient beings named from numbers one to seven, skipping four because their user disdains the number four the for being considered unlucky. Sex Pistols work alongside their user's six round revolver, being able to change the direction of bullets in midair by passing them around through kicks and punches, and also reload the gun themselves. They can also protect their user from oncoming projectiles by being able to catch bullets, even a point blank gunshot to the head. It's it's notable to mention Dude, that each is and crazy. every sex pistol is unique and have their own personality, so when seeing them work together, it makes for some pretty great panels and dialogue, one of the most fun stands in the series. Sex Pistols user is Guido Mista, and its name is in reference to the punk rock legends Sex Pistols. It sounds interesting as hell, and I do remember seeing a clip, I don't know if it was the same thing of the bullet being split, but if it was that same clip, this stand might got it bruh. These little motherfuckers is devious as hell, I'ma still put it at decent. Next is Craftwork, a stand that can control kinetic energy. Its ability is able to stop any moving object in place instantaneously regarding the speed it's moving. Then it can build up its kinetic energy and release the object at will, and also slightly touch it to change its trajectory. A really simple ability what? with tons of potential uses. For example, throwing a handful of rocks into the air and then being able to walk on them like stairs, or stopping a bullet from going into your skull. Craftwork's user is Sail and its musical reference is the experimental electronic project craft work to me bro it's all you doing is stopping objects that's literally all you doing bro don't sound good to me on that picture it looked like he got hit by bullets so what the fuck he not using it good that motherfucker is that trash the only thing that i can see him stopping is the motherfucker that can summon asteroids moving on to another minor villain stand we have little feet a stand with the ability to little make your feet. feet little what okay moving on to the next stand no i'm just kidding okay I was about to say. Okay, but there is some truth in that. So Little Feet has a sharp index finger that it will attack their enemy to initialize the stand's effect, similar to Soft Machine's Rapier. But in this case, once attacked by Little Feet, you will gradually shrink over time, and in just a few minutes, you will only be an inch tall. It will also shrink your stand, so stands that are strong physical attackers will be rendered useless. But I think the stand's best ability is that it's able to affect its user instantaneously, being able to shrink him and then restore him to normal size in less than a second second, which gives the illusion of vanishing and being able to get the jump on enemies. Little Feet's user is Formaggio and its musical reference is the band Little Feet, but with an A in feet. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, Little Feet sounds trash as hell too, bro. <laughs> this sounds like the worst part, bro. This might be the part that I'm skipping, bro. Bro, y'all let me know if this is the worst part on JoJo's. Cause these stands, I'm not gonna lie, they don't sound good. Now for the stand that defeated Little Feet. Aerosmith. Aerosmith is a stand manifested as a small World War II fighter jet with the basic ability of being able to fire bombs and bullets from close to long range with un Okay, now this one, this one might be tough, bro. Imagine you get, like, imagine you get your ass beat. You could just summon a plane like that. Motherfucker come out of nowhere just dropping bombs and shit. Dude, that's, I ain't gonna lie, that's kinda hard, bro. It's kinda hard, ammo. It is also equipped with a carbon dioxide radar to scout for enemies through their breathing. There is a small pilot inside Aerosmith's cockpit which goes by the name Smithson, but really doesn't do anything except sit in there. Aerosmith's user is Narancha, and its musical reference is the American rock band Aerosmith. It could come in clutch, bruh. Not gonna lie though, I'ma still put it at decent. Next, we have Man in the Mirror. Its ability is to access a mirror dimension known as the Mirror World, which is the what? same as the real world 
except everything is mirrored and devoid of all life. Man in the Mirror enables its user to access this dimension by using any reflective surface as a doorway, regardless of size. It can also forcibly drag people into the mirror world without their stand, leaving it in the normal world. But Man in the Mirror what? and its user can transfer worlds together, so its best way of attacking is just to drag someone into the mirror world, leaving them defenseless without their stand. A notable mm. aspect of the mirror world is that anything that is disturbed or moved in the real world is also reflected in the mirror world. So for example, in the real world, someone destroy something or knock something over that will also happen in the mirror world it will just look as if a ghost did it or the object is moving by itself but everything will stay the same there is just no life in it only the people that are brought into the mirror world by its user and the user itself the stand user is a luzo and its musical reference is the michael jackson song man in the mirror that stand kind of sounds tough bruh you can drag people in and just beat the fuck out of them bruh sorry for cussing I'm not gonna lie, this one sounds overpowered as shit, so I'm gonna put that at overpowered. Don't be hating, bruh. On to Purple Haze, it is a very powerful stand physically that attacks with massive aggression. Its ability is a flesh-eating virus that is stored in the bulbs on its hands that break open when it punches. The virus what? will surround the stand and spread slowly around itself. It is extremely dangerous for both friend and foe. If exposed to the virus, it can destroy a body in less than a minute. A very powerful oh ability with few weaknesses like strong light weakens the effect of the virus and it cannot be used in small areas because it will kill all of the user's allies and the user itself if exposed to the virus. What the Purple Haze's user is Panacotta Fugo and its musical reference is the Jimi Hendrix song Purple Haze. That stand is crazy but damn why does it have to kill the user too? I would hate to have that stand I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's tough just because it got the poison shit but bro what in the fuck? I'm gonna put it at neutral bro because it sounds tough but bro if I got the stand why is it able to hurt me bro? Mr. President, a non-lethal stand that can create a secret room for people to enter when combined with the turtle Coco Jumbo. When entering the room, you will be shrunk down to a size even smaller than we saw with Little Feet, and it's instantaneously. Once inside the secret room, you are protected from enemies physically, but still vulnerable to stand abilities. The stand user, I guess, would be Coco Jumbo, and its musical reference is the band Mr. President. I'm not gonna overhype it too much. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, this shit kinda do sound trash. Put it, I'm putting it at trash. That does not sound good now that I'm thinking about it. Next up, we have Beach Boy, the stand that takes the form of a fishing pole. It can phase through any object and people's bodies to hook onto internal organs to cause fatal damage. The Dude. line from the pole also works as a sensor, being able to sense how many people are in the room and their health status through heartbeats. The stand can attack from close, medium, to semi-long range, and all the damage dealt to the fishing pole does not transfer to its user. The stand works best when there is a distraction around or the stand user is very hard to find. Beach Boys user is Pesci and its musical reference is the American rock band The Beach Boys. Beach Boy just stand is tough. You like you remind me of going and Karapika mixed together. You gonna have to go in neutral. Following Beach Boy we have the Grateful Dead. Its ability is rapid age acceleration that has a semi long range of effect. For example, it can affect an entire multi cart passenger train and make everyone on board rapidly age, both physically and mentally. This ability is dramatically increased if the user comes in direct contact with someone, being able to kill them nearly instantly. The stand works best with a partner to serve as a distraction as the Grateful Dead's ability slowly incapacitates all of its enemies. The stand user is Prosciutto, and its musical reference is the rock band The Grateful Dead. Every single one of these stands are different as fuck. Fuck. Whoever came up with this show, what's his name? Araki or something like that? Bro, you are one of a kind, bro. You're creative as hell. But um, I ain't gonna lie, rapidly aging don't sound like it could really come in handy. So I'm gonna put that at trash. Next up, we have Babyface. Definitely one of the strangest stands like in the entire series. Babyface manifests I don't know why as that a came computer into my that is used to impregnate a woman. The what? stand will select a host. What the f best suited to create a strong offspring and unleash itself upon the targets. Upon fertilizing the egg, the bizarre stand and human offspring reproduces cells rapidly and will be born in just under three minutes. And oh it my takes God. the form of a homunculus, not a stand. 
Most people think that the offspring is the stand Babyface, but it's kind of a Frankenstein versus Frankenstein's monster situation. So Babyface's creation is not a stand, even if it has stand-like abilities. It is a physical and visible being to everyone, including non-stand users. This specific offspring's ability is to manipulate matter. It can break itself and others into cubes to rearrange them while keeping them alive, or cause damage by removing cubes that contain vital parts of the body, like throats and hearts. There is a lot what? more to this stand, like its ability to learn and grow, but we aren't even done with La Squadra yet, so let's keep on moving. Babyface's user is Malone, and its musical reference is the R&B artist, Babyface. Dude, this motherfucker could really make a little army of shit. I'm gonna have to put that in neutral. That could actually be tough. I will put it in overpower, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's there yet, bro. Matter of fact, this motherfucker could really make an army, bro. I will put it in overpower. Next up is White Album, a stand that we have talked about a few times on my channel already. So to keep it simple, it's an ice elemental type stand, and it is the first suit stand in the series. Frozen? It allows its user to move at high speeds by skating on ice it creates and can freeze enemies while protecting itself with an ice barrier. Its secondary ability and sub stand is Gently Weeps. Its ability is to bring the temperature around the stand to the lowest possible, negative 270 degrees Celsius, to freeze the air around itself, adding another layer of protection. The stand user is what? Okay, froze on but on crack. Giacho and the musical reference is the Beatles the White Album and their song while my guitar gently weeps That's a tough stand bro cuz he can free stuff around him and on top of that he got armor on I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna put him in neutral I feel like that shit can be broken through easily next up We have King Crimson the stand possessed by our main villain of the part It might seem a little early, but the stand reveals itself just about halfway through the story so let's try to explain the most debated and arguably one of the most confusing stands in the entire series in just a minute. So King Crimson works alongside its substand Epitaph, which is represented by the small face on the stand's forehead. King Crimson's ability is to skip time a maximum of 10 seconds, while Epitaph can look 10 seconds into the future and show the user. This is usually done before a time skip is activated. If what the user sees in Epitaph's prediction is less than desirable, like getting shot or attacked, he can skip the time that he took damage. For example, King Crimson's what user is shot at. He can skip the time where the bullet hit him. So it didn't really happen if the time is erased. The effect of skipping time is global and felt by everyone, leaving moments of confusion every time King Crimson is used. So for the 10 seconds Epitaph predicts and that King Crimson skips, everyone except the user is a slave to their fate and cannot change what they are going to do for that time. Only the user can consciously decide their actions within the erased time, giving him a massive advantage. King Crimson and what Epitaph's the? users are Diablo and Dopio, and its musical reference is the band King Crimson and their song Epitaph. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, from what I just heard, bruh, King Crimson, <laughs> he's at God tier. That sounds way too overpowered, bro. And on top of that, bro, he got a split personality. This motherfucker basically got two stands, bruh. A long range stand that takes the form of a shark and can instantly teleport between open liquids ranging from a river to a spoonful of soup and the stand size changes depending on what liquid it is in the bigger the liquid the bigger the stand will become the smaller smaller it will become so considering the stand is a shark it has pretty good attacking power. Clash's user is Squallow, and its musical reference is the band The Clash. Not gonna lie, that one sounds ass. I just think this motherfucker swimming around in people's drink. Are you not gonna look at your drink before you drink it? Yeah, that one is trash, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Talking Head, a parasite-type stand that attaches itself to its target's ton to control what they say, being able to lure the target's allies into dangerous situations and ambushes. It works best with a more lethal stand as its partner because of its almost non-existent offensive power. Talking Heads user is Tiziano, and its musical reference is the band Talking Head. What is up with these stands, bruh? I'm gonna put that at decent. Shit like that could come at clutch for real, for real. Next up, we have the notorious stand, B.I.G. One of the most unique aspects of this stand, besides the fact that it cannot die, is that in order for the stand to act- What? The stand can't die? I ain't gonna lie, the stand got a hard name, though. Activate. 
the user has to die. Once activated, B.I.G. starts small but will rapidly grow through absorbing energy around it, like attacks thrown at it and inanimate objects producing energy like a plane engine. Since the stand has no stand user to command it, it's automatic and will attack anything based on its speed. The fastest thing around the stand's relative surroundings will be attacked. B.I.G.'s user was Carne, and its musical reference is the American rapper Notorious Big. So that motherfucker is a, is a parasite, basically. I'm gonna put that one at decent. I'm gonna put it at decent. And to the last stand from our main cast members, we have Spice Girl. Spice Girl is a humanoid stand with similar properties to most punch ghosts, but instead of breaking things, it makes things soft, turning solid objects into elastic and bouncy, which like most stand abilities can be used very creatively, like turning a real bullet into a soft nerf bullet. Spice Girl's user is Trish Una, and its musical reference is the all-female musical group Spice Girls. Now nah, that is a clutch-ass stand, bro. Wait, so is it just objects? If it's if it's just objects, then I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna have to put it at just decent. But if it, if the motherfucker can use it on body parts, that would be tough too. I'm gonna put it at decent. Next is Metallica. The stand can control the element iron around its close proximity, including the iron in people's blood, which there is a lot of. Dude, making nah, some this, he's uses devious. Like scissors and razor blades in a person's throat. It can also use the iron in nature to form the same weapons. The stand can give its user camouflage by surrounding him with iron that will reflect off light, making him blend in with any background. Metallica is a colony type stand with each individual resembling the famous painting The Scream by Edvard Munch. The stand user is Risotto Nero and its musical reference is the greatest metal band of all time, Metallica. His stand is tough. And on top of that, he was uh, he was going against the duel with two person. I, okay, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to I'm going to still put him at overpower. Here is actually an unnamed stand from the past in 1978. In Vento what? Oreo, we learned that the stand errors were forged from a meteor that fell from space in Cape York, Greenland. And in 1978, a team of surveyors were exploring the crater, which formed tens of thousands of years ago. But there was a lingering virus. One of the researchers was exposed to the virus and his body began to mutilate. But before he died shortly after being exposed, he shot lightning from his fingertips, very reminiscent of a stand ability. And that's really all the information we know. The stand user is unknown and it obviously doesn't have a name. I'd like to imagine the stand would have been named Ride the Lightning in reference to the Metallica song and album. I mean, we don't, we don't have a damn description on it. So what the f I don't even know where the fuck I will put this. I'm putting it in trash. Couple of enemy stands. We have Green Day, a long range virus type stand that affects anyone that is a lower altitude than the user. Now that I'm thinking about it, most stands are long range users. Mold infestation. The lower you are, the faster you die. The user can also disassemble themselves to control each limb independently by having them all affected by his own virus, except it doesn't kill him but gives him control over his limbs. Green Day's user is Chico Lazza and its musical reference is the punk rock band Green Day. Dude, it puts mold on people? Yeah, that's a crazy ass stand, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna put it at decent. Next up is Oasis, the second suit stand in the part and in the series. Oasis surrounds its user and allows him to travel travel freely underground and through objects. It also enhances the user's strength and speed, giving him more mobility when phasing underground. It just kind of looks like he melts underground and the way he comes out of the ground is like he's swimming in concrete. Oasis relies on sound to be able to locate its enemies on the surface, and this is also its greatest downfall, being easily deceived and disrupted by loud sounds. Oasis's user is Seco, and its musical reference is the English rock band Oasis. He could be a problem, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna put him at neutral. Approaching our final battle, we are surprised with an old friend. A really old friend, Silver Chariot from part three. But not before long, Silver Chariot is pierced by the arrow forged with the beetle and transforms into the Requiem. The Requiem, or Silver Chariot Requiem, has the ability of Soul Swap. If you have ever seen Freaky Friday, Soul you are swap. familiar with this concept. The Requiem will put everyone to sleep in its surrounding area, and when they wake up, they will have their souls and stands swapped with the others affected. The Requiem is protected by all stands. If you try to attack it, it will only result in your own stand attacking you back. Its only what? weakness is its shadow, which is casted by the the person's soul closest to it, which is represented as an orb of light above the person. So the only way to defeat the Requiem is to destroy its shadow, and to do that, you have to destroy your own soul. It must require a sacrifice to end. 
Silver Chariot's user is Jean-Pierre Polnareff, but once transformed into the Requiem, it no longer has a user. Its musical reference is Mozart's Requiem. Now that one is overpowered, bro. Now I'm gonna put that one at God tier. Cause what, bro? You have to sacrifice yourself just to defeat this motherfucker. Next stand is the last Requiem. Gold Experience Requiem. Once Gold Experience is pierced by the same arrow that created the original Requiem, it begins to transform and fuse with the arrow to create GER. GER's ability is the power of zero. It can nullify the effect of anything and any stand's ability, returning it to its previous state, which heavily contrasts our main villain Stan King Crimson, creating a duality between the two. King Crimson can remove the cause and leave the effect, while GER removes the effect from the cause. In action, GER's ability almost appears as it's rewinding time, but it doesn't. It only reverses actions, not people's behavior. And with this ability, GER becomes the most broken stand in the entire series. Oh, also, if you're killed by the stand, you are thrown into an infinite death loop where you spend eternity dying over and over again from your worst fears. Gold Experience Requiem's user is Giorgio. Giovanna and its musical reference is the gold experience by Prince and Mozart's Requiem. Him versus King Crimson. That would be tough, but I want to watch through the show. Good to see the uh, parts only got like what 38 episodes. Yeah, I got to watch through this quick because I need to see this fight, bro. But yeah, I'm going to put him at God tier, obviously. Now, finally, onto the last stand in Vento Areo. Rolling Stones. Rolling Stones is an automatic and uncontrollable stand that takes the form of a large boulder. It will attach itself to somebody around it who will soon die, and slowly reveal what? to them their dead body in its rock. It will easily influence people to take their own life, but have dire consequences to the ones around you if refused. Rolling Stones is one of the most thematically rich stands in the entire series and revolves around the concept of fate. Considering this arc happened before the events of the part, it created the fate that all of our characters would soon meet. Rolling Stones user is Scalipi and its musical reference is the rock band The Rolling Stones. I would hate this damn stand to the max. From what I'm hearing, this is my opinion, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna put him at overpower, bro. The motherfucker is attaching to people and then showing them their death. Yeah, that's fucked up. I don't know what these last two are so i'm gonna let y'all tell me in the comments i appreciate all y'all it's been support my jojo's video for real if y'all want more videos like this just know i'm gonna keep improving on them this is just me experimenting follow my twitch so you know what i'm saying we can watch jojo's together 